The National Social Security Fund, NSSF, has announced the launch of a pilot project that will provide social security to the capital's self-employed tuk-tuk drivers. The drivers will be eligible for public health insurance from April 1st onwards. The pilot is part of the NSSF's plan to formally integrate informal workers into the scheme. This assertion was made on March 27th at the outreach workshop on the pilot scheme of the healthcare services to the self-employed individuals, as the NSSF signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MAU, with the NGO GRET Cambodia on the expansion. This pilot project will support the future expansion of the project to all self-employed individuals. This is an important step in the provision of social protection policies, said NSSF Director General Luc Samvithia. The NSSF and GRET, supported by the French development agency AFD, have co-implemented a project called SPIN, Social Protection, Innovation for the Informal Sector, which includes many elements such as the development of a website, financial risk assessment, the development of an NSSF information center, and a strategy for educating the public. NSSF Deputy Director General Hung Safanarith told the Post that the MAO would enable the two signatories to study the scope of the expansion of coverage to the self-employed, as well as other individuals who did not have access to insurance in Phnom Penh. The signing of the MAO will serve as a bridge to help the NSSF expand its coverage. This will enable the fund to offer health care and income stability to more and more Cambodians he said. He expressed his hope that all concerned parties will be committed to achieving the Mao's objectives. GRT noted that in order to register for the scheme, tuk tuk, drivers need to bring their national identity cards and vehicle identification cards to the NSSF headquarters. Their monthly contribution fee has been set at 15,600 riel, around $3.85. After paying the contribution for two consecutive months, they will be able to access medical services and health centers accredited by the NSSF as well as maternity and emergency services. This pilot project aims to achieve an integrated social security system for informal sector workers such as tuk-tuk drivers and domestic workers. It said, Singauer, who has been a tuk-tuk driver for five years, said he was pleased that he and his fellow drivers now had the opportunity to access health care insurance and social security. He added that tuk-tuk drivers face several risks to their health and incomes, whether from illness or traffic accidents. He hoped the NSSF would provide good service and that many drivers would sign up. If the monthly contribution fee remains at 15,600 riel, tuk-tuk drivers will be able to afford to pay it. We are slightly concerned that we will not be able to access the services, as we have heard rumors that some of the service providers make it difficult, he said. Independent Democracy of Informal Economy Association, IDEA, President Vorn POV said the signing of the MOU is a significant step in extending social protection to members of the informal economy. The NSSF protection differs from the programs enjoyed by formerly employed workers, many of whom are provided with health care, occupational risk insurance and pension funds, he added. POV noted that according to the MAO, the self-employed individuals who sign up will receive access to a health care fund, but not to occupational risk insurance or a pension fund. He called on the government to consider providing full access to social protection to all members of the informal economy. I would like to see the scope of the NSF encapsulate every individual across the kingdom, he said.